Welcome back to the kitchen, everybody. Chef Bud bringing us all back to the table today. And as we prepare for a little Halloween, um, we've got you a great dish. What are we making? We're making spooky stuffed peppers. See? Now, listen, these are cool because you can do your own little jack-o'-lanterns, which when these get filled up, you'll see that I don't have a lot of artistic skill. Although I'm kind of happy with them. They came out better I than I... I think you did quite they, well. You know, I didn't have my glasses either. That helped her. I, so. I, I, think, I, think, it, I think it actually helped. Uh, yeah. we, we, we've, we've done some, we've yeah, done some good things yeah, over so. here. Okay, so what we're going to do is we've got a couple different ways we're going to fill okay. these. But I did those I, because of time's sake. What you would do usually is fill these up, stick them in for 20 minutes, okay? Mm -hmm. But what we're, I put them in for about 10 minutes, kind of start soft off. You want them soft, crunchy, okay? Okay. Now what we got is I've got some ground beef here, and I use an 85-15 so there wouldn't be as much grease. If you use an 80-20, you probably have what to drain it. What did you season it. it with? I'm seasoning it right okay. now. So a little bit of McCormick chili powder, some smoked paprika, some cayenne, and then some kosher salt, okay? Okay, easy enough. And this is basically how I make taco meat. The only difference is I sauteed a... Uh, 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 onion and some garlic into this, and then used a little bit of the uh, of the uh, emerald grape and olive roasted garlic chili. Okay, now there also was one tablespoon of um, tomato paste in here. Okay, and that gives you a nice, really good color. Absolutely, on that's why. It's, yeah, that's why it was so red. And then I poured in a 14 ounce can of diced tomatoes, and we're just gonna let this cook for one second here because we want some of this. Uh, juice to cook well, down. Well, while that cooks down, let's talk about something okay. as we're kind of moving into Halloween. Did you have like a favorite costume? Was there a favorite thing like when you were a kid when you really celebrated Halloween? Yes. Now, it's funny you asked me that. Okay. Because when I was growing up, and I love when people ask me about Halloween, because when I was growing up, it was not like latex mask. No. It was like a hard mask. The with hard the, mask with, with the With a string. Yeah, with a rubber band. TGNY. Yeah. I remember going to TGNY and there were just, yeah. they were just tons of them yeah. and it was yeah. just this really flimsy, yeah, it like was like plastic. something slipped over. <laughs> it was just something like yes. I mean, it was it was and, nothing. And like the like the uh, the rubber band had like a uh, silver or like a little stick mm -hmm. that went through there and went sideways and pulled around the mask. And the mask like hit straight to your face like this, yeah. right? And I remember when I was a kid, you know, I look back on it now, and you know, you got four kids in the family, Bob and Dad trying to make a living, so you want this extravagant costume. But, you know, my parents always gave us good stuff. But I remember one year I was Yogi Bear. I remember Superman was obviously a big one. But what really made me laugh okay, give it to me. was as we got older, how we just started to do our own costumes. Mm -hmm. And now when I go to the thing, they got the kids that come around, the older kids, and they're dressed up like babies with a bottle and a, and a, uh, a yep. pillowcase for a kid. You're like, that, that's, that's the, that's you're the cheating. best you could do. Yeah, you're yeah, cheating, you're cheating, right? But anyways, I'm going to add this right here. This is just... I use rice pila, or I'm sorry, wild rice. You could use just steamed rice. Um, but tell me your favorite. What was your favorite? So um, there are a couple that really. Stood. I, I loved Batman. I, of course, I, yes. You know, I, I did you a lot still of that, do a lot of Spider Man. I remember the, the costumes you were talking about about, about buying the case with yeah. just the plastic yeah. thing. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but I, there was one year where we saved money, uh -huh. and I went as the Incredible Hulk. Oh, and, my brother did that once. And we just did some like some yes. green deal, and then we like shoved a bunch of clothes inside a yes. shirt and I was yes. really tight and I was walking around and I had football pants on. Yes, my yeah. brother was a big old guy so he was excited when he got through the job. I'm stuffing this in there and I want to show you that as we stuff it we're going to stick them back in the oven but all you got to do is just take spoonfuls of it and put it in there. One of the things that I love this dish for, this is a great dish to feed your little kiddos before they hit the trick-or-treat trail okay. and uh, it's a nice little warm dish. Now over here I took some of our Grand Sabor uh, shredded brisket and you, I mean, this is our brand at Benny Keith, but you could use, I mean, whatever brisket. Okay. And man, it's a great one with a little bit of, uh, with a little bit of jalapeno and some mushroom, and stuff that in there. All right. And then what we're going to do is, as we go to break here, I'm going to stick these back in the oven. What we're going to do is we're going to take some Colby Jack, and just go over the top of them. Okay. And remember, you've already cooked all the product that's in there, so cook time is not that big a deal. What we're trying to do mostly now is is to make the uh, peppers get a little bit softer. Perfect. We'll be back. We've got more with Chef Bud Anderson. As that is spectacular. Spooktacular. Spooktacular. It was a great mm. Let me tell you something. During this break, I've been eating a little bit around the sides here. It is so good. You know, we were talking about Halloween. As we're, you know, we, we talk about heading back to the table and how mm -hmm. important it is for the family. Absolutely. One of the things that's great on Halloween is to leave the table behind and go meet the people in your neighborhood. Yeah, right. That was one of the great things growing up yeah. was knowing the people in your neighborhood yeah. 
And you know that Miss Johnson down there loved to Reese's peanut butter cups, right. so you know you, you were going down to her there. house. Yes. You know, one of the things that I was talking about earlier was we went, I grew up in a town of 200 people, so it was this real small town. Everybody knew everybody. Yeah. And in my day growing up, one of the things that was a big problem was, I don't know if you remember this, but back in the day, your parents, if you got an apple, your parents always took it and cut it because like weirdos would stuff like razor blades and maybe happened once in like a million times. Once friends, in a million yeah. years it happened. Yeah, and, but yeah. as a kid, you were like yeah. petrified. But I'll tell you one of the things that okay. I used to do was we used to gather at our church at first, or at first at United Methodist Church, and we'd go trick or treating for UNICEF. I don't know. Do you remember UNICEF? Yes, with and the little the, yeah, yeah. You'd have a little thing, and you'd walk out as a group, and then we'd go afterwards. But uh, we were. I asked you earlier what your favorite candy was, and you told me it was the Reese's, Reese's peanut butter. And that's why you went to yes. Mrs. Johnson. You, you, know? got, you got to hit And then Mrs. of course, uh, myself personally, you asked me, and uh, if I ever got a Crunch Bar or a Crackle Bar, I wasn't feeling it. Yeah, it's I'm, like I'm with you. It's like Rice Krispie in a like, chocolate thing. You you took out the chocolate and yeah. you inserted air. Yeah, I don't like that at all. No, I give me the, all the chocolate. And I tell, I told him that whenever I do, I have a big bowl of candy. Mrs. Chef Bud really takes care of me with the candy, but I always have a big bowl of candy at, at uh, uh, Halloween time. And my help comes over and we go to an event, uh -huh. and they're like, take everything. I'm telling, take the crackles. Take the take crackles the crackle. and the crunch. Yes, because I have no desire for them. And they throw them as a filler. You know they throw them as a filler. Uh, absolutely, right? your favorite. Yes, my favorite. Um, probably, I'm a big payday guy. Um, I really like uh, I like payday, and I like uh, that's just nuts. I like almond joy, and uh, oh, I like. The, we didn't have a lot when I was a kid, but Heath bars. I love Heath. Oh, bars. I love a good Heath bar. Heath I didn't bars. appreciate the Heath bar until I got Me a little older. When I was but young, as an yeah. adult now, yeah. oops, as an yeah. adult, I absolutely yeah. love it. Okay. Yeah. Let me um, tell you the most underrated. Okay, underrated. Okay. Underrated. Okay. You want to make you want to make me happy if my uh -huh. kids are coming to your house. Right, right. You load them up with Take Five. Oh yeah, I love Take Five with the pretzel with in the it. The pretzel in it. Fabulous, fabulous. It's very yeah. good. I like a good popcorn ball too. That's really? old school. Nobody does that anymore. No, but that's also you know. I was telling you, you know, some places you went, they'd have like a Ziploc baggie. They have a popcorn ball, some other stuff. I like that. But here's a good question for you. Okay. Do you have a favorite thing that you have? Like at Christmas, I watch certain things. There's something I do every Halloween. I watch this every Halloween. Beetlejuice? No. Okay. I'm not that. In I'm not that. Uh, I'm old fashioned. Okay. I love me some Sleepy Hollow. Oh, the old one? I love the old Sleepy Hollow. I love the Johnny. I love all the Sleepy Hollows because I really love a Washington Irving story. Okay. Because I think, uh, you know, Disney did it with Ichabod mm -hmm. Crane and Bing Crosby was the voice. But I love a good Sleepy Hollow. And the thing about it, oh, and I like the old stuff, like uh, yeah. uh, Boris Karloff. We played a little uh, Bobby Boris Pickett when we came in. But I love Boris Karloff, the Frankenstein, all those. I love the black and whites. Yeah. I'm a weirdo that way. I had at one point a collection of those old scary movies, and you would have yes, you yes, would have you would have yes, loved it. Yes. Uh, we I, I introduced my kids to Beetlejuice the other day. Yes, yes. Uh, that's one of the ones that we really enjoy mm -hmm, over mm -hmm, the holidays. But I tell mm -hmm. you what, we also enjoy eating. So yeah. we're going to bring this out of the oven. We're going to serve it up after the break. We enjoy uh, sharing our memories yeah, together. Yeah, we do. Uh, Halloween's a good time. It is. I mean, I get to eat a lot of chocolate, yeah. so I, I would. Yes, yeah, chocolate's good. good. You guys take care. We'll be right back after this. Welcome back into the kitchen, everybody. And this is a great <laughs> recipe to roll out for the kids to eat before they hit the neighborhood. And, and they start doing that uh, sugar intake. And we're going to put this recipe for you over on our website, myhighplains.com. How do I do with my pepper carving? I think you I'm not artistic at all, but I was old school. Look. I think Those you are old school. You know, somebody would have probably like did some sort of elegant thing where they shape, you know, like the pumpkin. Hey, nowadays. let's get basic. We're about to tear that thing up. Let's look at that. It's good eating right there. These are good idea. This is fun for your kids, man. Your kids will love this. It's like I said, it's a little bit of taco meat, some rice. It's good to go. Tell me about some of the classes. We got your holiday. Listen, if you're going to go, two things I want you to get today before we leave. The uh, perfect holiday table is November 7th at AC. We've had some issues like filling classes, mostly because I think people are busy. This one doesn't have a lot of seats left. This, this, we're going to have a holiday class the 7th, we're every, every Thursday for three weeks, the 7th, 14th, 21st, that sound right? Yeah. And then um, they're all holiday entertaining classes, perfect holiday table, there's a brunch class that's fabulous, and another holiday class, come do it, and also go to Back to the Table Chef Button Facebook, give it a like, a lot of good information on there, and uh, have a happy Halloween. And, and do me a favor. Yes. Head back to the table with your Absolutely. family. Head back to the table with your friends. It's yeah. one of those things that we don't do enough. Mm -hmm. We go out and we eat. But right. to, to cook the meal at the house, sure. to sit there, talk over it, mm -hmm. laugh, and have yeah. a good time. And that's yeah. what we're all about and here. And sort your kids' candies out and take what you want out of it. Oh, it's, well, it's called the dad tag. Yes, I do that too. So, okay.